the key legal issues for organisations will be whether they've developed sufficient governance around the use of these new technologies. Now I'll give you some examples. Um, we talk about big data and in the real estate sector I think there are big opportunities for uh, investors and landlords to harness big data in the way in which they lease their properties and the way in which they manage their properties and for developers as well. Uh, but with big data one of the issues is around for example where the data is sourced from. It's lots of unstructured data and there's been various instances uh, in the last year where data is being sourced uh, using illegal methods. If there was legal advice that I would provide, the one thing to do is to ensure that as an organization uh, you have thought through different types of technology components within your technology architecture and thought through the risks of them and come up with a governance process around it so that in 2019 when the desire from your executives and from your CIOs to adopt this new technology uh, is, is quite big, you have a governance structure that you can use to go through uh, and uh, qualify and validate whether the technology is right for your business, whether it can be adopted safely, what sorts of parameters you as an organisation should go through to be able to mitigate the risks of the technology as well as harness its power as well. So one of the big things uh, for 2019, I think, is around organisations when they are dealing with um, technology issues, be it big data, be it data science, be it artificial intelligence, be it public cloud, to develop a technology governance committee. This is no longer the domain of necessarily just the IT team in an organisation. This should be something that both finance and legal are involved in. Because with any new technology there are both legal, regulatory and commercial issues to be worked through. And once um, this committee is up to speed with all the issues for the technologies coming up in 2019, they'll be able to act very quickly in a way that's both safe for their organisation, but also in a way that uh, allows them to leverage the technology when others may not have a view on things, and so it creates a competitive advantage as well for them. I think a really interesting sector that's gone through a fundamental change and has reacted to it in uh, in an appropriate way is the advertising sector. So as soon as, um, you know, with the proliferation of the internet, it became very, very clear that online advertising, which enables consumers uh, and other users to be able to transact online, was a very effective way for advertising agencies to help their clients um, increase their market share and get their brand out there.